Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. And if you guys saw my original video of Adobe Premiere Rush um, first impressions, you guys saw in that video, I made a promise to you guys that I would try to edit that whole six minute roughly video on Premiere Rush and literally not use any other program and just show you guys what it was like, what, my, what I thought, what my impressions were and kind of my experience of editing straight up through the program because it's one thing for me to sit around and use in front of you guys and just say it's like this. It's another one I actually try to do a whole project normally the way I would do it, which is I have been using Premiere Pro for the last like four years. I did make some notes and I'm just gonna go through them of what I was thinking. So every time something bugged me or something was missing, I kind of just put a note of it down just so I can walk you guys through and let you guys know what I think. So what you're seeing right now on the screen is literally the one that's on YouTube right now. This is it. Um, and I kind of um, found some interesting things doing it. So firstly, I'm going to go through something very simple. If I was to hover over the little scissor right now, it tells you to, you can split your clip by doing a shortcut, control K, which is amazing. However, um, in the settings, there's nowhere that I can find that says, oh, hey, you can change all your shortcuts yourself. And this is the way to do it, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. So um, that's issue number one that I have. The next issue comes to do with simple things like me not being able to right click on this clip to do simple things like speeding this video up. My next issue was, so I originally zoomed all of this in and then realized that there was bits and pieces missing and I decided that I'm gonna try to zoom everything back out to 100%. So the way you do that is you come over here um, and you've got the video and you can kind of just zoom in and out based on this. So that's me zooming in and I can also move up and down. And then like, you know, I done it before I had clipped this a million times. I done it to the original one bit video. But then I had already gone through half of it and there was already like a thousand different cuts as you can see here. The moment you select multiple clips like so, it actually won't let you zoom in and out all of them together, which is a bit weird. And I'm like, oh, it's probably because they all had different zooms. But then even if I choose, so this one here is at 100%, this one here is at 100%. And even if I do these two, it still won't let me just blocks everything out why that is something so simple and it's not just that it's everywhere you literally can't do anything once like i can't drop the same filter i can't do the same editing like editing is gone you've only got like presets that you can do but then you can't apply it because there's two clips selected which is kind of annoying so if i unselect and choose this i can go into this and do that but then i can't do you know multiple and do it because it disables it which is fine because then you know you think oh yeah that's fine i can nest all of this together which is what you do in premiere pro where for those that don't know, it's where you combine all of them, turn them into one clip on the timeline. But then you can't nest on this either. The fact that I can't nest clips together is so annoying. Adobe, if you're watching, please put nesting back on this. It's such a simple thing. Don't get rid of it. And the next thing which is super annoying that I found that was missing um, is the transitions for zooming. So I can zoom something in, which is like all nice and great. So if I go back here, I can definitely zoom that in. That's awesome. I can rotate it. I can do whatever I like with it. However, what's annoying is you can't transition this. So if I wanted to go between, you know, this clip and this clip, transition away is it goes from 100% to like 150% and it slowly does that. It won't do that. There's none of that either. There's a little disclaimer I put in this video, which says something along the lines of, um, hey, sorry for the random change in audio. So the moment I went and clipped it, it would just out of nowhere push my audio on the other one higher, which it just did there as well. It played with my audio, but it didn't do it that badly. The way it looked earlier, the way it done it was it maxed my audio out. Like it sounded horrible. So it more or less just did that to everything. And I'm like, see the way that looks? That's literally what it did to me as, as I was clipping it. And it was changing my audio, which was strange. Why are you messing with my audio? But yeah, guys, that's it for me on this one. I just wanted to do a quick follow up to let you guys know everything that I found. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like it because it's super smooth. Um, it's super light, doesn't lag, scrubbing through the timeline is amazing, um, moving clips around is great. I know with future updates, I'll probably add more features and I just want to keep it light as because it's initial re release, I can respect that, I get it. I really genuinely am excited for where this is going and what's coming next because I think this can be really, really good. This is where we should be in 2018, 2019. I really like where they're going with this. I think if they can just keep adding features to this, this is going to be killer. I genuinely, genuinely believe that. And I genuinely believe this could be the answer for a good video editing app on Windows. But that's it for me, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you used it? What are your thoughts? Smash thumbs up on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.